In this example, we'll show how to connect uh, multiple shapes, generate G-code, and run the machine. First step is uh, run disk CNC. We'll open the shape, file, foam cutter, open top left. We'll choose a file. That's the file. That's our DXF file. Click on the open. We see it here. Those are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shapes. We can zoom in a little bit. What we want to do is we want to move the shapes a little bit off set from our home position. This is our home position, home, home uh, zero, zero. We want to get it to about half inch on the X and half inch on the Y. To do that, we'll do select, select all, edit DXF, move scale, and we'll put move half an inch and half an inch here. And then we'll click on the move button. And you notice that the new shape is now in blue. It moved. Let's save it. Save geometry DXF. We'll choose the file. C, cut files. And we'll call it, give it just a different name. Click on the save. And then we'll open it again. This time we'll set, we'll open the new one. And then we can see it here. You see it's offset. Now it's offset by half an inch on both axes. Half inch on the X and half inch on the Y. The next step is to connect between the shapes. Before that we want to see the sequence that the software decided uh, each shape in which sequence it is. We'll do go view information tags and we see that this is the sequence. The first shape is number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that's the way we need to connect them. <coughs> we need to connect shape number one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, and so on. What we'll do is edit DXF, change start and depart, and right here at the bottom it says where the cursor is left click to set the start point, right click to set the depart point. This means that left mouse click we would set the start point, right mouse click we would set the depart point. So we'll choose this point would be the start point for shape number one and we'll click the left mouse and we can exit shape number one here and we'll click the right mouse click now we're going to shape number two. The entrance point would be here. And then the exit point would be somewhere close here. And shape number three, the entrance point is here. The exit point of shape number three would be here. The entrance point of shape number four would be here. exit point for shape number four is here and we can go back and fix this we will exit shape number five here and enter shape number six here exit shape number six here enter shape number seven here exit shape number seven here enter shape number eight here and the last point is this. What's important to see now is that we don't have any lines running in any of the shapes. We can zoom in, view, zoom window. We can see how the connection between shape number one and two looks like. It's this area. Uh, view, zoom all, and let's we can view uh, other points as well. Let's let's view how shape number two and shape number three are connected and this is how they're connected basically the software draws two lines and you can see that it's not set at the end here at the edge we can fix that edit DXF change start and depart so we will depart the shape here and enter here it's nice and clean this time view zoom all uh, we can zoom into another area if we want to let's say this area 
it looks nice and clean. The last step is generating the G-code. In order to do that, we'll go to Toolpath, 4-axis, Foam Cut. Uh, we'll set the feed rate at, let's say, 25. And approach height is always 0. Click on the Create. Everything changed to black. That's good. The next step is saving the G-code. We'll click on the Run Machine. And we'll click on the Save button. It ge it's generating the G-code right now code was generated we see the shapes here and if we want to see the G code we can see it's four axis G code X Y Z and A with a feed rate of 25 inch per minute the next step is to run the machine uh, we would uh, do that by running Mach 3 which is Mach 3 mil let's load the G code file load G code um, we'll go for all files and we'll choose this guy we see the shape here um, we could zoom in and zoom out if we hold down the shift button and scroll with the mouse we can move it up and if we hold down the right mouse button we can move the shape Again we'll zoom in we can see the shapes here if we want to see it nice and big we'll click on the toolpath again the same trick here we can zoom in we can pan zoom in again and these are the shapes that we're going to be cutting let's go back to program run we can zoom in a little bit more to run the machine we'll click on the reset button now if we can move the machine you can see those numbers change and you can see the line here changes based on the movement of the machine and we can move the X Y Z and A these are the four axes of the machines before we run we'll click on ref all home all these become zero and that's our starting position if we click on the start button the machine will start cutting and we can see that the machine moved we'll click on the toolpath we'll see it nice and big and this is where it's cutting right now we'll go back to program run we can slow down the machine if we want or increase the speed Right now we're running at 25 inch per minute. We'll, we can run at 27, 30, 32, 35 even. Um, if we want it, we can even run it at 40 inch per minute or faster. Foam can usually be cut at about 25 to 30 inch per minute. 